Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at another feature of Campaign Petersburg, which can be used for all the Civil War games in the John Tiller series. Infantry movement. I consider this skill to be the most important aspect of the game that you will need to master. Before we start moving units and showing you the different methods that are used to move infantry, we need to understand a few basic concepts. First, within each hex that you move into, you are expending movement points. The rate at which you expend these points will be determined by several factors. These include the type of terrain that you have, clear versus woods, versus crossing over streams, and over elevations. Also, formation. There's basically two types of infantry formation. There's the line of battle, which you'll see most of these are already in, and then there's column formation. We'll take a look at that. Additionally, the state of your unit will affect how and where it can move. There are basically three states that your units can be into. They can be in normal state, they can be disrupted, or they can be routed. Disrupted will mean that they have fewer movement points to use. Routed means they cannot move towards the direction of the enemy plus they'll have fewer movements to move. Now, let's take a look at actual movement. If you'll notice here, I'm going to select the second United States sharp shooters. They are currently in the line of battle formation and they have 12 movement points to start with. As I move towards the enemy, the Confederates in this case, I will be moving one hex at a time. After selecting the unit, you will choose the hex you want to move into and then right click. If you are close enough to the enemy they may take opportunity fire as in this case. If I will right click again and notice as each time I move I am expending movement points. This is the basic concept for moving infantry in line of battle. By the way, when you're moving towards the enemy it's safest to be in line of battle because if you're in another formation like column you'll take more casualties plus when you fire you'll have a better opportunity to inflict casualties upon the enemy if you are in line of battle now let's take a look at column column formation here and we're going to start out in line of battle now to m change formations you'll simply select the units that you want to change to formation move over to the toolbar select uh, change formation button and press it and you are now in column formation let's try moving one unit at a time first we again select the unit that we're going to move and then we right click on each hex notice as I move along the road here that I'm expending only one uh, movement point so this is your fastest way to move and again if we select the next unit in that same stack, the 124th New York, we can actually move more rapidly than one hex at a time. So select it. Now, with the cursor over the hex, left button held down, move the cursor to where you want that movement to end, and release. And you'll notice that it moved several hexes very quickly and stopped before reaching the hex that I wanted it to move into due to opportunity fire. But if I still have movement points left, I can move until I run out of movement points. Now, lastly, I want to look at moving units very rapidly by organization. Over here, you'll notice that these units are already in column. So if I select one of the units that is in that organization, in this case, the leader, if I hold down that leader or select that leader and then I hold down the alt button on your keyboard I will then uh, trace my movement from the original hex holding down the left button move it towards I want it to go and then release all the units in the organization will move now there are other aspects to movement that you'll need to master have fun, and again, thank you for playing the John Tiller Civil War games, and in this case, the Petersburg game.